Relationship is a very, very delicate thing to handle. In every relationship, there should be the sticker, handle with care. You know, it's a package that needs the label, handle with care. Now, love and hurt are very connected. Love and pain are very connected. Because in life, the first experience of us, the birth, is that of pain. You are happily floating in mother's womb. When you had to come through a small passage and come to the world, it was so difficult and so that was painful both for mother and for the baby. And the baby comes out and the first thing it does is up, breathes in, you breathe in and then you started crying. So pain is very close and then what is the experience after the pain is that of love. The baby looks at the mother, mother looks at the baby. And then the experience of love dawns. So whenever you are in deep love, there is a little bit of pain that lingers on you. Everyone wants to be in love, but be free, want to be free from pain. How is that possible? It is possible. And that is called wisdom. And how wisdom comes when knowledge is well established in our consciousness, becomes part of our consciousness. Then wisdom dawns. See life from a bigger context. What are you scared of? What are you afraid of? Another thing comes up here is the vibrations. When you are in love or when you are in positive vibrations, that is also very contagious. So your atmosphere matters. And your state of mind, your inner strength, I always say, love plus wisdom brings you to a place of bliss. Love minus wisdom gives rise to all negative things. Anger, jealousy, upset, all those negative things. It needs quite some work. Life is all about balance. Balance between head and heart. When I was in US, a couple came to me. They were getting divorced. They had married for 30 years. And suddenly they realized they never got along at all. I said, it took you 30 years to know that you could never get along. You know, it's not so. Just recollect all the great, wonderful days you have had together. A few days of misunderstanding your mind latches on to it. See? And that is the nature of our mind. We peck on the negative. If you are aware of this, you can give a tone to it. Okay? Then you will say, okay, there could be some negative, never mind. Let me look at the positive aspect. Every time you get upset or angry on someone else's mistake, you know you are punishing yourself. Anger is the punishment you gave to yourself for someone else's mistake. So today someone does a mistake, you are angry. When you are angry, whom are you punishing? Yourself. You are losing sleep, your head becomes tight, you feel uncomfortable, you feel miserable. And tomorrow someone else does some other mistake, you get angry. Every time you keep getting angry for someone else's mistake, you are punishing yourself. So. I think it's better to be wise and not punish. Be kind to yourself. Don't punish yourself. Forgiving is not for that person, it's more for you. When you forgive someone for their mistake, it helps you to free them from your head. <laughs>